Hi, uh, I'm Andrew Deacon, I'm the Chairman of Formula Student um, and uh, we're here today at uh, Myra Haribe Proving Ground testing the Formula Student Autonomous Vehicle uh, FSAI. What we have here today is the students from uh, Edinburgh University with their Formula Student Vehicle which has been tested at our test track. AI, autonomy, connected, these are the things that will be in the uh, world of the future and right now we have these students developing that sort of thing with our help and support, it's absolutely fantastic. Something else we're trying to introduce to our university is try to put embed formula student to some extent into our degree programs. So for example currently we're trying to actively propose a lot of masters and bachelors project in the university where people can both do work on formula student and get accreditation for, for their work for formula student. Formula Student overall is all about developing young engineers as they become graduates, getting prepared for the real world and delivering to industry uh, all the skills etc that industry requires. And with the advent of autonomous vehicles they definitely need autonomous cars and, and uh, students with those skills coming into the marketplace who can uh, be the, the engineers of the future. government has done an absolutely excellent job of actually putting capital investment into this topic. So the connected CAV program from the Department of Transport is actually putting in a huge amount of funding into what goes on in that segment. So a recommendation for students is, you know, software is just as important as anything else these days. So look at that as, a, as an opportunity. Think about electrification. You should also get involved with uh, looking at battery development, these sorts of things. So, you know, it's a really exciting time in the automotive segment. Well, absolutely uh, required and uh, very much appreciate that we get people like Maya on board who support the events, they're, they're at the events every year, um, also support the students so they can do the testing of the vehicle and that sort of thing to make sure that uh, they're getting the best out of their education. We put our lives in the hands of technology all the time, uh, even like airplanes right now are pretty much autonomous, so hopefully if we can crack the code, if we can uh, figure out how to drive the cars autonomously, it might improve our safety dramatically, even if because they can talk to each other. And like, when you're on the road, you see other cars going, obviously you have indicators, but people tend not to use them. And we don't really know what the intentions are. But with machines, there is not, no such things. They are perfectly honest. They just, they can talk to each other. They can say, okay, I'm going straight at 100 miles an hour. I'm gonna be at this precise spot in five seconds. And then all the cars can just clear this spot and make the, other go, uh, make the car go through. If we manage to develop autonomous technology to like real advanced point, then it can improve our um, improve safety on the roads dramatically.